distractions. They are everywhere. How many times have you picked up your phone and gone onto social media, gone onto Instagram, gone onto TikTok without even realizing it, that you've actually gone onto the app? You just did it out of reflex unconsciously. How many times have you then double clicked and swiped up the app to get rid of it? And then just to click on the app again to refresh it. How many times have you done this without even realizing it? Distraction is everywhere. Technology is everywhere. To the point that being able to focus in this world should be impossible. It shouldn't be a thing that can be done. Yet it is. And people do. And you see people who are focused all the time. And you want to be able to do the same. You don't know how. You don't even know where to begin. You don't even know why you're so unfocused and distracted all the time. Whenever you're trying to do anything you want to do. Well, I can show you how. First things first, how are you? I hope things are good and I hope things have been alright. There is a chance that no one has asked you that out of all of today. Getting straight into the video. Time management is pain management. Distractions, they cost us a lot of time. Think about how many times you've gotten distracted from your main goal, that main thing you want to get done, and how much time it's cost you. There have been so many times where I've been editing and I get distracted by my phone and I lose literally hours of time. Distractions happen due to the desire to escape discomfort. So to deal with distractions, we must learn to deal with discomfort. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you in this video, how to do that. First thing, you need to focus on the input rather than the outcome. You see, input is much more certain. What you put into life what focus you allocate to certain parts of your life. It's much more certain than the outcome. So make sure that instead of focusing on the outcome, you're focusing on what you can put in. When you're studying, focus on how much effort that you're actually putting in when you're revising, when you're studying, when you're doing your homework, rather than the outcome when you finish, because it makes you want to finish. It makes you feel like that the task you're doing is uncomfortable, that it's discomfort. And we've already learned this is when we have our desire to start looking at other things, distractions that can distract us from what we're trying to do. The next thing you need to do is ask yourself the critical question. You see, certain things in our environment. Now, our environment is very, very important where we're trying to do things. You see, certain things in our environment can cause a trigger, can make us distracted. Certain triggers make us distracted and you need to ask yourself, does this trigger serve me or am I serving it? For example, you're revising, you're studying, you're trying to get your homework done and then you hear a notification from your phone. Your phone's on that desk and you hear a notif no <laughs> notification come from it. You look up, you look to your phone and in that moment you're distracted and you want to pick it up. Is that trigger serving you or are you serving it? Is it helping you? Is it really beneficial? Should your phone even be there? This is a very important question to ask. And this last one, this last tiny thing, it's probably the most beneficial, <laughs> beneficial, <laughs> probably the most beneficial thing to becoming indistractable. And that is your identity. Our identity is very, very important. It's how our minds, how we, how you see yourself. Identity greatly influences our behavior. We tend to align our actions to our identity, how we see ourselves. If you're someone who smokes cigarettes all the time, you'll probably see yourself, your identity, as a smoker. If you're someone who always does revision, always studies, always does their homework on time, you probably see yourself as a model student. So going back to the previous point, focusing on the input rather than the outcome, it's the same thing here. Focus on the action because it will lead to your change of identity. Oh, you know what? I'm going to revise. I'm going to study because that is what I want my identity to be. I don't want to be the guy who can't study, who can't focus. So going over everything just very, very quickly. The key to becoming indistractable, to never ever getting distracted again. Whenever you're trying to do anything it is you want to do, you got to understand that the reason we seek out distractions 
is to escape discomfort. And to deal with discomfort, we can focus on the inputs rather than the outcomes, the effort that you're putting in rather than the final destination, and then your identity. Focus on changing your actions so you can change your identity, so you can focus, so you can become indistractable. Hopefully this video helped you out. And I hope things have been good. I hope everything's been alright. And I'd be very appreciative if you clicked on the video. It's going to pop up in the corner here. Because this video could help you out. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, self-improvement kiss. Mwah.